You want to know something that really just irks me a lot? This. Not because it's bad, but it's like really good. It's really good. It is the... It is a dream come true. And I keep on racking my brain, trying to figure out how. How in the f goddamn hell this piece of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful speaks to me literature speaks to me on such a level how the hell is it written by a dude and I don't mean that because I'm trying to be like sexist or anything I'm like no I don't have any problem with anyone. I don't have dude. I don't have a problem with a dude writing Wonder Woman. Believe me, it's happened before and it's worked out. Um, case in point, George Perez. Okay. No problem whatsoever with dude writing Wonder Woman. No problem with this whatsoever. Dude writing Wonder Woman. What I am sitting here completely confounded Like, to the point where it's like, holy shit, how did this happen? Is it is speaking to me on this level, right? That I just, I can't, I can't. <sighs> Literally speaking to me on such a level like seriously seriously let me give you an example from this past week's issue like seriously first off that cover that's daniel sempire um holy shit okay so the gentleman that writes this is tom king tom king has made some very heavy platitudes in regards to this run and on many occasions this dude has leveled me in the way he's writing this. And and some of the same reasons I'm liking the Wonder Woman run is some of the same reasons that I'm like I liked the Steve Orlando um Scarlet Witch run. Um in the way that it's it's being told. Um Mostly by narration. In particular, this issue is mostly done by a narrator that you cannot see. Um, you see them very rarely, actually. And you get a little bit of dialogue. You get a lot of... In particular, in this issue, you get a lot of action. Now, I believe, you know, there are some people that are saying there's a lot of exposition in other issues. But in this one in particular, you gain a lot of freaking action, right? Um, literally, um, spoiler alert, but uh, Wonder Woman, that's, okay, so like there's, there's Wonder Woman, right? All right, and there's Silver Swan who was tasked with attacking Wonder Woman even though Silver Swan loves Wonder Woman, all right? So, first off, right? That right there is a big old piece torn off from the Washington Monument. And... Wonder Woman is, is stopping it from crushing her and... The person that came to attack her. Yeah. One of the people that came to attack her. 
because she's she's Wonder Woman. Um, where is this other moment? Oh my goodness. She like checks on the woman, right? But then she sees Grail coming for her. Now, those of you that, those of you that don't know, Grail is the daughter of Darkseid, right? So when everything else fails, when literally dropping the Washington Monument on Wonder Woman fails, they bring in a literal god, um, and that is Grail. Grail is the daughter, like I was just saying, of Darkseid to fight her in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And this moment right here, where you have the two women, you know, stand off and, and everything. The daughter of Dark Side is not to be commanded. She is only to be worshipped and feared. And then you have this knockdown, blowout fight between these two characters. And I wasn't even planning on doing a review this week, um, but I wanted to talk about this book. Um, this three by three, nine panel page, okay? This knockdown, drag out. They break that concept though on the next page, but it's like, did they, they did it on other pages. I know that they did. So some of the platitudes that um, Tom King was making before this started coming out involved comparing uh, the run to to kind of what he was wanting to produce for Wonder Woman and this narration where you get this moment where she's on her knees and she's just like, that's an ad for Red Hood, hold on. When she's on her knees and she's like, been knocked down and then like you have this happen where the sword is going to be brought down on her. And she's like, no, not today, Satan. Um, <laughs> Um, the narration on this is absolutely just gorgeous um, in talking about the, the fight. The person that's talking is talking, obviously, uh, to Trinity, who we, we know from the run already is Wonder Woman's daughter. And... Um, it says, it lasted almost an hour, an unthinkable amount of time for two women to bash at one another with knuckles capable of rendering mountains. And at its end, your mother was on her knees. Grail raised her blood-stained blade one more time and at last delivered death. Or so it would have been with another hero. But she, my dear, was never simply another hero. The second oldest story told is of gods clashing, deciding the fates of worlds with their muscles and metal. And the oldest? Never written in stone or ink, but passed down generation to generation through the whispers of mothers to their daughters, is the tale of a woman 
pushed to the ground, how she rose again. This book just continually speaks to me. In that moment when I read it, it had me weeping. <laughs>